Hi, I'm Nergen Sari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about landscape land mass. So, land mass is, is a tool that you can create some cool stuff in your landscape very easily without any external software. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, for using land mass, first of all, you should go to edit, go to plugin in here, and search for land mass. Okay, and click and enable that. Right now, it is in beta, but it works fine. Hit yes and restart the Unreal Engine. So, no land mass is enabled. Let's just delete this plane. And first thing to do, you should go here and click and go to landscape. In last video, we did talk about everything in here, but in details. So, if you wanna know more about these options, just watch my last video. There will be a playlist of video just about landscape no first thing to do i want to enable layers in here and next let's just choose a material and leave everything as a default hit create and it will create a landscape for us right you can see the landscape in here now with the landscape we can go to blueprint and the, in this blueprint we have some options so for example in blueprint brush we can click in here and choose whatever brush that we want you see in last video we did talk about a scope and all of these tools they are like a a brushes that Unreal Engine developer create for us to create a landscape right but this blueprint is just another type of creating brush for your own so you're not limited to these uh, brushes in here you can create your own brush in here right now they create three brush in here for us custom uh, the landmass landmass river and material only First of all, let's just use land mass, okay? Double click on it, and now we have a layer. Select that layer, and in here, hit left mouse button. When you're dealing with this kind of big scene, maybe the shader compiling is take a little bit time. So don't worry about it. When we clicked in here, you can see it will it did create a mountain for us, if you can call it mountain. <laughs> so now, first thing, you can see there is a spline in here with some point, right? And first thing to notice, you can see in here, we, we are on layer. Layer, let's just... Uh, hit F2 on it to change it to layer 01 okay this is layer 1 and in this layer 1 there is a uh, land mass that I want to call it uh, if I click in here and hit F2 it will select it in here and now we can rename it to um, LM for land mass okay and I want to call it mountain okay um, I did call it wrong so mountain okay so this is our mountain we call it LM mountain and it's uh, changed the name in here as well so first thing to do in here we can hide this by clicking in here and now you can't see it anymore and if you click in here again you can see it so first thing to know in here when you click on your mountain for example this landmass you can bring it up like this right Control z to bring it back of course so now that is selected you can select the point in here and change the position of this point you can see let's just do that for that one as well so i want to put it there and put this one let's just put it here here okay now we create a pyramid right <laughs> and we can add multiple points to this as well so for example on this spline if you right click we can add this spline point in here and change the shape like this no it's not the pyramid anymore so no again let's just add another one here right click and uh, add this spline in here and now we can grab it and change the shape of course there are some handles in here that you can click on so for example this one if i can click on of course i can change the position of that to change this spline okay now everything cool we have a bad shape mountain but if we click on this mountain this landmass mountain the beauty of it is in first of all when we click on it in here we can change the position of this mountain you can see it here put it wherever you want and the cool thing about it if you go to details panel it will give you a lot of option first of all the brush type you can you know that this is a land mass right and the blend mode and the blend mode i will show you when we create another layer for no know this that there is four type of blend mode like in photoshop we have additive in here we have max mean and alpha blend okay at default it is alpha blend and if you change it to minus it will create a hole in there so it will minus the shape that we create from the base landscape it will create a hole so again let's just change it to alpha blend uh, next option is the invert shape again invert shape is like minus blend and you can see it will inverse it in the uh, down position <laughs> so again let's just bring it back we, we need the mountain right so there are some options here for example the fall off do you want it to cap this shape or not if i click in here now you can see i capped this uh shape and i can put an ocean around it and i will talk about ocean in the ocean section of this playlist as well so i don't want to be capped for now uh there are some fall off um, options in here 
are like fall of angle like you can see in here we have a angle in here and if you change this you can see it change the uh, angle of our mountain i want to change that to be more like a real mountain like this and um, there is fall of width as well that we can play with that as well and there is edge with offset and z offset i don't want to uh, change them let's just go to more uh, cool stuff like effects okay uh, if you go to blurring you can see the blur option by default it is on and you can see in this edge it is a little bit pointy if you change this blur size to five now you can see it's uh, more like a hill right i want to change it to two for example right so we have something like a mountain next option is the curl noise and the curl noise are beautiful we can just change that to make it look like a um, mountain and you can see it's already looked like a mountain and there is do two curl uh, noise in here and we can change the both of them to uh, create some cool mountain in here like this right uh, it's it's beautiful and uh, again there is called tiling we can play with that as well and we can create some uh, procedural mountain with these as well okay now the next thing that i'm going to talk about is this smooth blending and this smooth blending so for example in here you can see uh, it's not blending too good with the landscape this mountain we can change this value to something big like this and now you can see it's blending to our um, landscape better let's just put 1000 value in here no i think it is better right everything cool with that now again let's just go back to go to fall off in here for example and change the height of our mountain like this right it's more no like a mountain and the cool thing about it we can click on our mountain and change the position of our mountain like this right everything cool so we have a mountain so let's just talk about some other things so for example in here we have a land land mass mountain and we can duplicate it by holding alt and duplicate it like this now we have two mountain that one of them is in here and one of them in here and if we hit e we can rotate it create uh, some other cool mountain alongside that and no you can see we have two mountain mountain uh nothing mountain two right let's just rename this to mountain one so we can talk it talk about it better mountain one and mountain two right so no in here if i change the blend mode to additive and for mountain two again change it to additive you can see they will add together two mountain no is adding together now we have a cool mountain so no again i want to add change this mountain one to cap version i can go to off and click on cap version okay no i want to change the blend mode to alpha blend as alpha blend again for both of them so no in mountain one i want to change the position of that like put it here for example no, with that, let's just change the, let's just bring it up a little bit like this. And you can see they will add together. No, it's like we have an island, right? So the cool things about this, we have a mountain, we have an island. So you can see with copy and pasting these land masses, we can create some cool stuff. No, let's just talk about layers. If you right click on your layer, you can create another layer. So for example, right now we have layer 01 and layer one. If I change the name of these two layer uh, 02 for layer two, let me show you another thing. Right now in this layer two, there is nothing in it. So let's just add something to it. For example, let's just go here and choose a river, for example, right? I wanna click in here. Now you can see it create a river for us in this land, in this land and because this layer is above the layer one it will change the layer one um, stretch so it can create a river in there but if we change that and put the layer two below the layer one you can see no it's not changing the landscape for this river to show up so we should add it at the top and with this layer we can create some cool stuff again so for example i can click on the point on this um, river to change its position like this change click in here change its position like this so you can see i can create some cool river in here and in the next video i will show you how you can create a ocean so this river should go to ocean this river we can rotate it we can change the velocity that this um, river is going and of course we can in here hold alt and and create another point for this uh, spline right know that we create our landscape with the landmass very easy let's just add a player start in here player start i want to put it 
in here for example let's see if it's good or not if we play no we can see our car and no you can see we can play with our uh, landscape very easily and we have our river as well that's very much cool right and that's how you can use landmass for creating landscape so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it and if you like this video and you want to help me please hit that like button and if you like my video subscribe to my channel thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye